Today, we're going to learn all about making characters for your game in pixel art. And we're going to be drawing this little kitty cat, you know, somebody a little bit familiar, I think. <laughs> and we're going to follow my proven pixel art process to get stuff done and make it look cool. And if you want to follow along, you can get the palette that I'm using for free. Just click right here or the first link down in the description and you can make your own little space cat. All right, let's go. Okay, so here we are in a sprite. I'm going to be using a sprite, but you can use any pixel art program you want. And I have a 48 by 48 canvas. Now we're going to draw our character 16 by 16, but I like to have just a little bit of room around this just so we have some some room to play. But we're pretty much going to try and draw our character inside of this little gray square. So we are ready to block things out. Let's take a look at what we'll be making. We're going to be making this handsome man. Oh man, the space cat. Yours truly. It's always nice to have reference photo of some kind when you're going to make a character because then you can look at the major features. All right. So it's a teal cat with big ears and big pink sunglasses. So those are kind of the main elements that we need. This is kind of the main shape of the head. It's kind of like a lemon with the top pulled out. So let's start with that. You know, and it feels good just to, let's start with a nice teal of some kind and make it a little darker just so we can see it. And I'm going to turn on my symmetry line. Now, if you don't have these buttons here, you can go up to view and make sure that you have symmetry options clicked. And so I'll turn on that line and that'll be in the center by default. And I'm just going to start with my normal brush and I'm going to make the rough shape of my head, something like that. Yeah. And just fill that in. This doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to necessarily be in this square because we're going to move things around later. All right, let's try and make some ears. I'm going to pick any other color. It doesn't matter. We're just trying this out, seeing if we can get the sizing and everything right here. So he has pretty big ears. So I can marquee select this and let's move this down one. Just hitting down on the keyboard. There we go. There's a little bit bigger ears. All right, we're going to have pink sunglasses. So let's just kind of rough those in. Yeah, something like that. And that is a really huge head and it might be too big. It's possible that we're going to make this just a little bit smaller, but let's just see how this goes. I'll again, pick any kind of random color and let's start filling in the body. And let's say he has kind of a wide stance like this and he has body sort of like that. Yeah, we can go with something like that. And maybe he has a tail. Turn off my symmetry options here. Let's just put the tail out here. Maybe that'll read. I don't know. Okay, so this is just kind of the block out. So this is trying to get the main shapes. Let's also maybe add a little nose. That looks pretty good. Let's see what else we can take from this. The collar. I don't know. Maybe we can maybe we can add the collar. We'll see. I don't know. That looks pretty good for our block out. It's really important that when you're designing your character that in this stage, you're just getting the sizes and everything right. So don't worry about it too much if it doesn't look exactly how you want or if it seems too big or too small. You can play with this as you go. We could even draw this whole character and then draw him again slightly smaller. It's okay. This is an easy thing to edit. That's the great thing about pixel art. It's only 16 by 16, right? So let's rename this layer. We'll call this block out. And let's say new layer. And this one is going to be the outline. So we're going to try and do some kind of outline. That's if you want your character to have an outline, which I tend to like to have an outline if I can. I think it usually looks pretty good. So let's just see what this looks like. Putting an outline maybe around our head and then maybe around our body here. Maybe just not on the feet. Turn off my symmetry options here. We can outline the tail. So the question is, if we look down here in our preview, does that look like a cat standing there? I think it totally does. So I think we're okay to keep going here. So let's call this uh, outline. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer, duplicate it like this, and we're going to call this colors. So I'm just going to turn off my block out and I'm going to start filling this in with the actual colors I want. So because I have this up in a sprite, I could just literally hold alt and grab this color and go over here and paste it in and fill this here. And I'll do the same thing for his body like this. So now we have just kind of the rough colors. We want this white part and that's going to be like most of his face. So let's turn on our symmetry again. And it's going to be something like this. Yeah, something like that. And it's possible we're going to have problems with this looking weird with the other features we put in, but we'll just, we'll just see how this goes. Let's see, I got a little white belly and that looks pretty good. Little white paws, maybe something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. I have white feet. <laughs> It's looking so awesome. What about the tail? You think the tail's white? I haven't looked at my tail. We'll just leave it teal for now. Those are kind of the main body colors. Let's grab this color for the glasses. We're going to try and do glasses about that big. And I wonder if we can do the outline of the glasses. I think that might be too much, but let's just try it. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. What about my nose? I think typically my nose is a little bit less bright than those glasses, but I think I'm going to push this 
down a little bit darker just so it reads a little better. Yeah, something like that. When I say read, I mean it's it that it's recognizable from a distance. It's recognizable as small art. You might be able to draw something in, but if you can't recognize it when it's little like this, then I mean it just who cares? <laughs> it's not gonna work. Let's see. I've got some pink in the ears. Let's just see about that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Get a little bit more white here for some continuity. I think that looks pretty great. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so that's the colors. Let's duplicate this layer. Now we're gonna do some shading. And I'll just turn off everything else. This looks pretty good, but we need to add some shading, like some lighting on this, okay? You'll notice, I mean, on this art, there's a little bit of lighting. It's a little bit brighter at the top here. It's a little bit darker under the chin. So let's do some of that. And because we have limited resolution, we won't be able to do tons and tons of it, but let's just see. Let's just see how far we can go. I'm gonna sample this teal, and I'm gonna take this way down and a little bit farther up just to give us a little bit darker version of this white. I like to make my shade just a little bit cool. That usually looks really nice. So let's just see what it looks like just giving, giving him a big old beard like that. Maybe shading around the lenses. Uh, it's not quite working. Like looking down here, it looks like he's wearing a mask or something. It's kind of strange. Hmm. Let's go ahead and split the difference. Let's make this not quite as extreme. One thing you can do is select this color this. I'm just holding alt to eyedropper this. And then you can take the opacity down like halfway and click on whatever you're trying to blend it with. So this white. And then you can hold alt and select this color. Kind of put that back in like this. I think that's going to work a little better. Yeah, that feels better. Yeah, so it's a little bit more subtle at shading, but that's okay. Other thing I'll do is maybe change our outline a little bit. I want a very dark version of this teal to be our outline like that. Yeah, I think that's great. I'll hit G on the keyboard and then uncheck contiguous here. That's going to switch any color that looks like this black with this blue, like that. That's just gonna make things look a little bit more rich rather than having it black. And I think maybe we'll take this a little bit darker on just the sides and not the top. So here on the sides of the ears, maybe just a little darker than that. Yeah, so anytime on the sides that we have kind of a, something facing down, I'm gonna add a little bit of darkness there. That, okay, turn off my symmetry options here. I'll just throw this back in there. And I think this is just maybe, this could maybe be a little bit lighter even. Yeah, something like that. So I'll hit G again, uncheck contiguous, put that in there. That's eh, maybe just a little too. I want it to be dark enough to where there's some contrast there but not too bright where it looks like a totally different color. Just want it to give a little indication that this edge is facing up towards the light. All right, it's looking pretty good. Let's do one more pass on this. I'm gonna right click on shading and say duplicate. We'll call this a details. And here for details, let's go ahead and just mess with this a little bit. I like the little wider chest. I think that works well. You can use one of these colors to kind of add some shine to the glasses. That looks pretty good. Maybe we'll even add a little mouth here. What happens if we take something like this? Kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of like that. It almost looks like a tongue or something. I'm kind of just trying stuff out here for a little bit. Seeing if I like it. I wonder if we use this. Yeah. It's always good to duplicate colors if you can use the same color. So if there's a color that's close to another color, might as well see if, if that works. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. Let's just look at our... The only couple things that are missing are our collar. Maybe a little bit of shading in the ears. I wonder if we can add a little bit of shading there. Or if, it look, or if it's weird. Eh, I think just keep these normal pink like that. Could also add a little shading to this teal if we want to. Maybe something like that. Add to my armpits there. Yeah, I think that's nice. These down like that. Yeah, I think I'll keep that pretty chill. Let's see if maybe adding a little bit more brightness to the top of the ears looks nice. Just add those like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little on the tail. There we go. So now we have our little character and it's a little, little space cat. <laughs> He's ready for adventures. We might even fill in this outline with that dark kind of red. Eh, I don't know. I like it like this. Also going to add this little dot here because this is an interior line. And actually, you might even I might even do it here too. You generally want the outline of something to be a little bit darker than something that's kind of just like a fold in the skin or, you know, a chin shadow or something like that. The only, the only thing that's kind of competing with that is that this part of his chin is facing down. And I don't know. I think I like it. I think I like it, but I don't know. I guess I could go either way on that. Let me know if you prefer one of these. If you like it darker or a little bit lighter like that. You can do that in your own art. But there's our cat and we could animate him and do walk cycles and everything. Let me know if you want a video on that. I would love to show you how to animate this 
little guy. But there's how to make a character in pixel art. If you want to learn more about pixel art, whoosh, here's a beautiful video on that right there. And if you want to download this palette and follow along with me, here's a link to do so right here. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next time.